All right, detailing family, styles, pretty work. You know where I am, you know what I do. I shine and share with you, showing you the stinking lankin'. Uh, I washed it this morning, clayed it. It's raining here now. I washed, um, foam bathed it twice. And because I knew it was going to rain, so I wanted to get that out the way. And I'm not worried about the rain. So she's washed, clay, mirrors, windows, everything has been clayed. And because I haven't did anything to it in a long time. So what I'm doing, what I'm prepping up to do is, as I told y'all before, you see the rain on the hood. As I told y'all before, this hood have a lot of hail damage but I'm going to polish it out anyway because the paint is still there but there are minor scratches within the indentations of the uh, of the little small dents but don't look bad from a distance I'm going to get it painted I want to get another one and just use this straight up as a detail vehicle I'm going to get my logo Put across here, same on the other side, and across here. Keep it nice and classy. And uh, the reason why I'm going to go ahead and do what I'm planning on doing, what I'm planning on doing is polishing out this whole vehicle. I don't know if you can see those scratches. I'm removed. The pinstripe on this side. I'm gonna take it a loop, take it off on the other side. So, <clears throat> what I'm planning on doing is polishing this whole vehicle because I have products that I had left over from uh, last year and stuff that I got now, and uh, and so I want to try try them out, and I'm gonna polish this. Uh, entire vehicle with the rotary polisher and I'm going to um, finish it off with my DA. I can do that with the, I can do it all with the uh, with the rotary but I'm going to go ahead and get the scratches and uh, they're not swirls not a lot of them in there anyway I try to keep it up but I'm gonna go ahead and get the do the paint correction. The vehicle do need a paint job, no doubt. And I'm gonna bring no headlights back. I've been waiting and procrastinating, but they're not very bad. But they they make a good video to bring them back. See the yellow one at the top? So it's gonna make a good video. And then with the fog lights, I'm gonna do the same. Have a trick for those polish those out polish out the vehicle everything with a rotary just using different pads different products I have some 357 Magnum by high temp I have uh, a couple of more different compounds so what I'm going to do I'm going to just use probably the hood put me two strips of tape one over here, one over here, and I'm going to use three different compounds to see which one works uh, to my liking, and that would be the one that I'm going to go with, and uh, on certain scratches I will be using um, imperfections, I will be using a wool pad, and then the rest of them I'll be using uh, foam pads, so that style is pretty work. Detailing family, ADOs, DOAs, New Jacks. Hope everybody doing good, doing well. I see you guys out there doing your thing. And uh, shout out to my nephew, Brandon, father and son, and the kids, all the kids. Uh, Raquel, what's up, girl? Um, what it is is that. I can tell that the pollen 
is starting to fall. Not heavy, but it's beginning to. So what I want to do, I want to go ahead and polish this down, polish this out, protect it. I'm going to seal it. I'm going to do the rims the same way. And when I finish this one, then I'm going to do the car. Uh, because if your car is protected, you could just ride down the road and a lot of that stuff would just fly off. Because if you know down here in North Carolina, the pollen gets real thick, real fast. And if your car is not protected, it's going to stick. And it's going to look bad. And so I don't want this one to look bad. I want to be able to just grab the water hose and, and this right here and just rinse it down. Just rinse it down and don't even worry about drying it off, you know, because it's going to be well protected. Um, I'm going to do a sealant that cures, uh, it's going to cure for 36 hours, and then I'm going to use a wax. I'm going to let that cure. The sealant gives you up to 12 months. The wax I'm going to use gives you up to nine months. And when that cures, then I'm going to come over top of it one more time after the curing time and hit it with another wax so it's going to be well protected all the way around then i'll dive on the inside but when i get ready to start polishing uh this week i will be turning you on showing you the polisher showing you some of the pads just won't be, i just won't show you the technique some things are sacred feel me style's pretty work but if you want to come to me you know the deal I said it before. 910-978-2185. And you'll be able to see how I get down. Shine and share family. This Sunday to all of you guys, man. One time, Styles is out.